that. Wow! What's going on there, everybody? I am Shin Rob Jira, and today I have amassed a million microcarbons enough to open up my dream restaurant in Montreal that will exclusively cook big ziti burgers. Sure. Godzilla Final Wars. You are the last of the snippings. <laughs> Don't act wary. I'll be gentle. <laughs> You'll think you can hide from snippings. Okay, maybe you can. How can I get you all on film without missing you? Mm. Well, I guess we can attack the tail first. Snip! <laughs> Come here, you need snip. Yeah. All right, now Shin's tail is gone, let us try go for leg. Come on, little footsie. You need the snip. <laughs> oh, is the foot back here trying to unscape snip? Never. <laughs> I am so glad you're going on vacation after this because you genuinely scare me. Getting this guy out of the box and finally getting a good look at him, it really is surprising because Playmates did produce a pretty dang accurate Godzilla Final Wars figure. So much so, I would say it's more accurate than the Bandai America version. But anyway, let's just take a closer look at the details on this thing because this figure is pretty nicely detailed. Alright, so when talking about detail, there's a lot to talk about and there's not a lot to talk about at the same time. You have an area like the head that is very finely detailed. Just lots of deep scaling, it looks very, very nice. And from front on, the figure figure actually looks like Final Wars Goji. So Playmates pretty much have the likeness down pat, it's just the detail takes a bit of a dip once we get to the body. As you can see, we've got a fugly looking seam over here, but at this point, you should be used to that by now. It's Playmates. It's the Playmates Mark 1 Godzilla stuff. It's all cheap plastic. <laughs> but I feel like you can really see it from this angle the most. You can see all the heavy sculpting that went on over here, and then you can see it just take a dip. Like, it totally just mutes out by the time it hits the neck. Strangely enough, that does somewhat get fixed once you get to the chest because you do see a lot of the detail. It's detail you can feel, it's detail you can see. And for the most part, the detail on the chest, a little bit on the shoulders, on the arms, moving into the waist and crotch region, they just look really good. But then you get to like the thighs and you see a lot of that like yogurty muting that's going on over here. It's just weird because it's on this side. It's not so much on this side. It's on this side over here, but then you turn the figure fully around and it's better. I really don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, it's just weird how the detail just kind of yogurts out. And it's weird because you look at the rest of the thigh under that and it's, the detail's great. It's fine. It's like that on both sides as well. So I, I, I really don't get why only one side of it looks weird, but the rest of it looks good. But anyway, Gato Goji over here. The feet do be looking pretty gnarly. Got some nice wrinkling going on there. Some more scales. Nicely painted toes that even Bandai can't manage to do. Destroy ya. And speaking of finely painted toes, look at these finely painted claws too. They look good on both sides and everything. Playmates is doing something better than Bandai. Look at them grasping hands. Boobies. But the teeth are painted pretty nicely, aside from that one flub on the fang over there. And it does get a little bit spotty on the gums over meow. But what can you do? You're going to get the same kind of flub on the fang over here. And you are going to get a bit of the gum left unpainted in that white. But for the most part, and from an angle, the teeth paint do be looking rather, rather nice. And as much as the tongue really juts out and being the brightest colored thing on this figure, I think it looks pretty good too. The detail on it ain't half bad either, so credit. Now the only other place you're going to find ample amounts of detail and paint are going to be on Goji's back over here for the dorsal fins. And the back, as you can see, very clearly spray painted on. Um, I, I don't really have an issue with that, but I was knocking on the Bandai Movie Monster series Destroya for looking spray painted in the feet and the arms, and here we have it on the back. So I have to be fair and give this guy his licks as well, so this does look kind of messy, but the dorsal fins do look pretty dang cool. This one over here looks like a bottle opener about to crack open a cold one, but the boys call it a day. <laughs> But everything else is super nice. I especially love the detailing over here on this dorsal fin. This looks really, really good. A little too good, actually. And that level of detailing and paint just kind of continues on throughout the figure till you hit the base of the tail. And then that's when everything gets a little bit mucky. But at this point, when it comes to tails and Bandai and everything else, I'm used to it just not being painted or detailed very well. And this is detailed pretty well and painted. So another point 
preferred playmates. Yeah. Although I do have some really random paint splooches all over this thing. I don't know what's going on with all that. But when talking about the back, this thing looks like a 3D jigsaw puzzle. Look at all this. Look at all this, this random insert stuff. And it's like that throughout the entire back. It's weird, but you know what I am going to say? I don't think that this is a probable complaining point. Plus, it's better than getting screw holes on the back or on the opposite side of the figure, so at least there's that. Questionable in some areas, but the back of the figure is nice. The dorsal fins are painted rather nice. I could have just done without the dandruffy over effect over here. And I guess if I had to throw another complaint out there, I guess I would say I wish the tip of the tail and the midsection of the tail matched up and paint a little bit more. It kind of does just disappear over here and this side of the dorsal fins does remain unpainted on both sides. And again, that's just kind of a nitpick here. So I really have nothing else to complain about when it comes to paint. I may not like these pre-posed legs, but at least here on Final Wars Boy, he's standing up straight for the most part. I do just really, really hate the pre-posed legs, though. Like, again, they're not too bad on this figure. It works, but, ugh, like, ah, uh, Playmates, please just don't do this anymore. For the next wave of Godzilla figures, please just don't do that anymore. We don't need it, we don't want it. <laughs> so this next part of the review is going to be very, very quick because I really don't think I have much of an argument here. The comparison. Eh. Again, really don't think I have much of an argument here. The closest thing I could find to these two that might have somewhat of a relation is honestly just the arms. The finger placement and the positions that they're in, especially with the pinkies being curved down a little bit more, that's kind of interesting. Uh, the feet do look mostly the same. I do feel like the Bandai America's feet are a little bit more wider. I do think that this might be a slight re-sculpting of the leg over here just because the definition is in the same exact place, maybe just a little bit more centered on this one than on this one. The scaling kind of looks the same. The position of the back of the thigh, the ankle into the foot looks pretty much the same over here. Just might have been slightly more beefed up because as you can see, this man's got more meat over here than this guy does. And despite new Final Wars Goji having a pre-posed leg over here, I do see some similarities. So I do think Playmates might have taken some cues from the original, but that's pretty much all I can think of. Dorsal fin placement and design is near the same, but not entirely the same. This just very much feels like Playmates took bits and pieces of the Bandai America version and just did their own. But I think the most glaring change is probably in the head. I just think Playmates takes the cake when it comes to the head sculpt because this looks like Final Wars. This guy really doesn't. I don't know. I saw something online that uh, if you push this guy's forehead in or the top of his head in a little bit, he'll look a little bit more like Final Wars, but eh, okay, yeah, I can see it. Just a little bit though, nothing too crazy. I guess I should also talk about that both of these figures' tails angle out the exact same way, except the Playmates version has less articulation while the Bandai America version has more articulation. Because the Bandai America, it's like at the tip over here, it's at this piece and it's at the base as well. With uh, Playmates, it's just the tip in the mid. There is nothing at the base of the tail, so yeah. And the bodies are entirely different as well. This version's neck is a little bit thicker, this one's not. The D Detailing on the chest into the crotch and the waist are both very, very different from one another. So maybe Playmates just took the arms and the legs and the tail, if anything. Everything else, I think they completely redid for themselves. Which, hey, credit, bruh. But anyway, let's get this guy out of here because his video is not coming up for a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Will. And now let's move on to articulation. Ah, oh, 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 oh. What did I say? Ah! Oh. You're gonna want to be careful with this because this is a bit of a tight swivelly A at the neck and you don't want to snap anything. You are going to get swivels at the biceps for both arms. I do believe both of the arms are somewhat capable in going all the way around, but I'm not going to force this because I really don't want this thing to break. Something that really surprised me is that the legs actually do have the ability to go all the way around. There's nothing stopping them like with the Shin Godzilla figure or most of the six inch Godzilla figures. And it's pretty much like that on both sides. Uh, again, I'm not going to uh, 
push this, but I'm just showing this to let you know that these legs can go every which way. Looks like Final Wars Goji's got the Kamada Kun chicken wing arms. Final Wars Goji, you're under arrest for not being that great of a Godzilla design. Ooh. And the last bit of articulation is going to be in the tail. And like I said earlier, there's going to be nothing at the base of the tail. You will be able to move the tail all the way around at the midsection and at the tip as well. I don't know why this isn't able to swivel. I kind of don't like that. But for the most part, you know, you get some decent posability out of the tail. Nothing to complain about. Overall, when it comes to paint, detail, and articulation, this figure really isn't so bad. Hmm. Honestly, getting this guy out of his shipping box for the very first time, I was really, really surprised that he looked as good as he did. I really hadn't heard anything about the giant Final Wars figure from Playmates, just that it was probably a carbon copy of the Bandai America figure, but personally, it's better. I think this thing's major flaw is just that it has the pre-posed legs and that it's hard plastic. Other than that, I think the figure is extremely strong and should be used as an example that Playmates can do Godzilla pretty dang well. And I know I sound like a broken record in saying all this, but it's true. This is a clear example of that. This figure also just succeeds in being a really cool big figure. Yeah, the paint is a bit muted. I do wish the skin was a little bit darker like the Bandai America version of Final Wars Goji. But again, for the most part, I'm really not upset. Fix the eyes, stop painting the pupils blue, maybe make him a little bit darker and fix up the legs. And honestly, Playmates, you've got something worth telling my mom about. And I absolutely do think that this figure stands up with the Final Wars Gigan figure as being Playmates' best Godzilla figure. Yeah. So with that being said, we can end this video off. All right. All right, this is about as much as I can take. Or... <laughs> Yeah. I got you this time, you cat what little you? prat. You think you got me now? What Your movie was trash. Got a bunch of monsters in there to barely see throughout the entire runtime. Eh? Eh? Yeah. You f***ing cat, you little prat. Matthew, Matthew Roderick. Roderick. <laughs>